Okay, thank you, Sebastian. Uh, so, uh, my talk is about the Photoshop NEH based heuristic recommendation. The outline of this talk uh, is shown here. So, I'll start with uh, the objectives and our main motivations. Then, I'll, I'll give some background on the Photoshop problems and algorithm selection. And after that, I will describe our proposed methodology and some results and the conclusions we got. So our base problems are flow shop problems. They are combinatorial optimization problems. They are studied since the 50s and there are many variants of this problem. And therefore, uh, since it's a classical problem, there are many proposed heuristics to, to solve it. The algorithm recommendation aims at uh, finding the best strategy to solve a, a given problem. And it can link these uh, problem features to the, these heuristics that, so, that solve them. It can be used to build new heuristics for unseen problems. And it also can be used to better understand the problem and the heuristics that solve this, uh, this base problem. So our objective is to analyze a uh, per instance algorithm configuration uh, to recommend uh, heuristics based on any uh, heuristic on uh, different types of flow shop problems. For that, we use the NEH framework as the algorithm design space. We also use IRAs to build a performance data set for the, the configurations. And we also train machine learning models to recommend these NEH configurations. So for a brief background on Photoshop problems, these are problems model to a scenario where you have a set of jobs to be executed in a, ser in a series of machines, usually a production line. And you are given the time of each job on each machine. And the objective is to find the best job schedule. This schedule is usually a permutation, is more common in the, in the literature. And it is an NP-hard in the general case. So here is an example of a, a schedule. We have here in the y-axis the set of machines, here four machines, and here in the x-axis the time, and the jobs are represented with different colors. So uh, two uh, common objectives could be the, the make span, that is the maximum completion time. Here is this blue, blue dot, and another common uh, objective for this type of problem is the sum of all completion times here uh, represented as these dots. As I said, there are many variants of this uh, problem in the literature. Uh, the most common is the permutation variant that I, I show. Other uh, type of flow shop is the no weight flow shop that imposes that there are no time gaps between each job operation. So the, the jobs are executed continuously. And another variant is the no idle uh, flow shop where there are no idle time on, on the machines. So once a machine starts, it processes all jobs uh, uh, without uh, stopping. So to solve a flow shop problem, a very common and well-studied heuristic is the NEH algorithm, 
it is a constructive algorithm and it is composed by these uh, three steps. So first it sorts the jobs uh, by uh, the sum of the processing times. Then for each job, it removes from the, this uh, sorted position and inserts in a subsequence iteratively. So it will insert in every possible position and then uh, it will select the best uh, subsequence and, and so on until the final solution is constructed. Uh, I forgot to mention there are many variants of these uh, algorithms. They modify, for example, the initialization uh, order and tie breaking for the, the subsequent selection. So another aspect of uh, this, uh, this work is deals with the algorithm selection problem. And as I said, we, the objective is to select the best algorithm for a given problem. We usually have problem features to, to build models that uh, select this, that, that perform the selection. And we are interested in the per instance algorithm configuration. So given an instance, we have uh, a configuration this uh, in some ways generalizes the, the algorithm configuration problem solved by IRAs, RM, ALS, and other uh, proposals in the literature. And it also encompasses the algorithm selection problem, the per instance version and per set version, which uh, also have some proposals in the, in the literature. So our proposed methodology uh, can be summarized in this uh, picture. Uh, we have so, uh, then a problem space that is composed of flowchart problems. Um, we have uh, an algorithm design space that it's based on the NEH uh, uh, heuristic. Uh, with those two informations, we uh, use IRAs to build the best, uh, to, to find uh, good configurations for every, every instance. Uh, we also extract features about those instances. And then with these two data sets of features and configurations, we can train machine learning models. So when we have a new instance and seeing and seeing on the on the training, we can find the the best configuration and evaluate this uh, this configuration. Uh, I will now describe each uh, component of this uh, this proposal. So for the uh, problem space, we have four sharp problems of different sizes ranging from 10 jobs and five machines up to 500 jobs and 60 machines. The, the processing times uh, are generated uh, some uh, with uh, structured features with correlations between jobs and uh, machines. We also use Erlang uh, distributions that are common in real problems. And we also uh, use uh, benchmarks like the VRF uh, benchmark used in the literature. Uh, we tested these problems with uh, make spun and full time objective, and also with the three variants mentioned so permutation, no weight, and no idle flow shops. So there are over a thousand. Uh, flow shop uh, formulations and we sample 10 instances for each of these formulation as our problem space. So in the algorithm design space, we use uh, uh, the NEH framework where we have uh, initially um, a partial uh, solution initialized by an order heuristic 
So this uh, order heuristic will not be used in the insertion phase and the remaining jobs are used on, the, uh, on an in initial order and those will be inserted iteratively like on the, on the any eight procedure. We then have uh, another component here that is the tie breaking mechanisms that, that uh, iterative build the solution until we have uh, a complete final solution. So the first uh, parameter of this framework is the ratio that the solution will be initialized by uh, an initial order heuristic. For example, in this case, 50% of the solution is initialized by an order heuristic and the other half will be inserted. These orderings have uh, three parameters, the indicator, the sorting scheme, and a flag indicating whether uh, weights are used to compute these order indicators. The, uh, for example, the default NEH uh, configuration will use 0% of radio, so no uh, initial uh, order. It will use the sum of the processing times as an order indicator. Uh, it will sort in an increasing uh, manner and it doesn't use weights uh, on, the, on the machines. So uh, another parameter is the tie breaking mechanism where we use also uh, various uh, mechanisms proposed in the literature like less best in KK1. Uh, in total, there are eight parameters and over 1.5 million combinations. So for the feature extraction phase, we use different uh, problem features, like uh, some are uh, extracted from the problem formulation itself. So the size of the problem, number of jobs and number of machines, the problem variants uh, and the objective. Some are statistics of the processing times like the mean and correlation and some others. And other features are computed from the fitness landscape. So uh, we, we have so, uh, the proportion of local optima, neutral edges and, and so on. Other we involve a sampling from a random walk uh, in metrics like the autocorrelation and entropy. In total, there are 27 features and they are extracted for each instance. So when we build these two data sets, so we use the algorithm to, to we use iRays to build this uh, configuration data set. Uh, then we train a machine learning model. We use uh, two uh, types of, of machine learning model. So decision trees for the, the better interpretation and random forest that show good performance on these different classification tasks. The, uh, we perform some pre-processing to remove uh, features that uh, have zero variance, and we also remove uh, highly correlated features. During training, we also perform a grid search on the random forest and decision tree uh, parameters. And in total, there are eight models, one for each parameter. We tested two different configurations of these models. One that doesn't involve uh, parameter dependencies, uh, only have the, the features as input and the, the value of the, of the parameter as output. And uh, another proposal uh, to try to model parameter dependencies, we also include the, the output of uh, uh, the previous model as input of the next model. Uh, 
So the next model have knowledge of the previous selected parameters. And this order here is determined by the algorithm steps. So some results uh, of this approach uh, from a machine learning perspective. Here we show the TF measure for, the, for each uh, parameter on each box and different models here in different uh, rows and colors. Uh, here, the higher values indicate a better, uh, better predictions. So for some parameters like these uh, weights here, uh, they, are, they were easy to predict. And some parameters like the tie breaking and any age uh, order indicator uh, were harder to, to predict. We also observe that in some cases, like this order indicator and uh, order sorting, the model with the dependencies were slightly better. From uh, an optimization point of view, we evaluate the predicted configurations by using the average relative performance that is comp computed by this form, this formula. So we have a baseline instance best, the one uh, found by iRace. We take the difference from the performance of each strategy and uh, take the mean, uh, normalize here by the, the instance best. We compare these metrics uh, uh, for the, the models with different uh, strategies like random configurations that was almost always uh, worse than the recommended. We also compare with the default NEH uh, configuration and the global best NEH, that is the configuration tuned for all the, the, the problems. So here we have a distribution of the ARP value. The, the closer to zero uh, means that the performance was similar to the uh, the baseline, the, the best, uh, the instance best. In some cases, the, the recommendation outperformed this instance best. We can notice here that the first two um, strategies that they are the standard, the, the default NEH configuration and the global best NEH configuration they are worse than the recommended uh, parameters represented by this last uh, four distribution. We also notice that uh, this last uh, distribution uh, corresponding to the random forest with the dependencies, it's, the, it's better, it's more uh, concentrated here in the, on the zero value. And uh, we, we ran some statistical tests and proved that uh, it, and, and asserted that uh, these three strategies are equivalent and the random forest with dependencies is uh, statistically uh, better than the others. So uh, some conclusions, we, so we propose it uh, per instance uh, configuration model using the NEH as algorithm space and I race to build the, the performance data set. And we test it on many Photoshop uh, variants. Uh, we concluded that the random forest with these parameter dependencies model the uh, uh, produced good configurations. And for future works, we plan to include uh, more local search methods and uh, new problems and also improve the, the method to build the performance data set. Okay, thank you. If you have any questions. Thank you for your talk, for your nice talk. Thank you. So now it's question time. I hope that 
you have prepared your question during the talk because it's not easy to, to ask some talks at, uh, with the video system, but I hope you have one. Otherwise, I will start, but this is my job, but <laughs> it would be nicer if you have questions. So, so I would ask the first question. Um, uh, you have a, a, lo a lot of features, 27, I, I, I say. You, you, you remove some uh, features, but do you know um, how much in the features are important to predict uh, your, your element or our algorithm, your component? Yeah, we, we perform some uh, analysis of the importance of these uh, features. Uh, the random forest model give this uh, metric mm -hmm. for, for each feature. Uh, in most cases, uh, so, some parameters, um, I think the sorting or the weight, I think it's the weights. They use, uh, I think, a single feature that it's the uh, the the I, I think it's the correlation of the the processing times and, and machines mm -hmm. and the others they use uh, most of the features so they use almost all of the the features uh, for the for the prediction and do you know if to add a fitness landscape feature add some Better have pe better performance. That simple simple uh, uh, feature based on the instances. Yeah, have you tried uh, to do that? Yeah, some some features like those based on the random walk were uh, were one of the most important. That the entropy and the autocorrelation. Mm -hmm. But uh, other other are are more simple. Like I said, the correlation between. Uh, mm. the mean correlation between jobs and machine times mm -hmm. the, those are also uh, very important features for for these models mm -hmm. okay please if you have questions go ahead even in the chat or something like that and one difficult things with uh, such techniques is the cost of the feature. Do, do you include the cost of the feature uh, in, the, in your design? Yeah, uh, we try to use these uh, simple features. So it's only the solution sampling and the random walk phase uh, ones. They are almost always uh, cheaper to compute than to uh, find the best configuration. So mm -hmm. uh, it's better to uh, sample some features than to run, like I said, uh, I race for uh, uh, an instance and find the, the best configuration. Uh, and the, the, most of the time, uh, except for the, 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 the smaller instances, this, uh, this time to compute the features was much lower than uh, to find the the best recommend the best recommended uh, configuration using iRace. Thank you. Uh, uh, question from from my colleagues. No. I uh, there is um, nowadays. I, I think this. This is nearly a standard way to, to do, to design a good algorithm, to, to learn with. Uh, but I wonder, always wonder, what is the limit of such approaches? Is it the computational task uh, time or is it the benchmark? It is, uh, it is the algorithm. I don't know which, which, is, uh, which is the bottleneck of such approaches for you. Yeah. For me, uh, this, in this uh, uh, scenario we tested is the, the amount of uh, uh, the amount of problems maybe because we have to find the best configuration for each instance. So uh, even if we find uh, all these configurations mm -hmm. in, in parallel, there are many uh, mm -hmm. combinations. 
and uh, if we have like a, a very customizable heuristic, so here is a, a simple heuristic with eight parameters, if we have uh, many different local searches and uh, recursive mm -hmm. local searches, uh, uh, mm -hmm. This, uh, I, I imagine that we would have to to have a lot of samples uh, of these, uh, mm -hmm. these best configurations to, to find a pattern that uh, we can then conclude some of uh, this type of parameter is, is better for this problem. Yeah. So I, I think it's the number of problems and the complexity mm -hmm. uh, of the, the configurations. Right? Yeah, yeah.